Come back home now. President Cyril Ramaphosa still has to decide whether to suspend the Western Cape Judge President John Chope. That's after Chope was found guilty of gross misconduct by a judicial tribunal over the weekend. He was found guilty of trying to influence two judges. Supreme Court, in fact, was Constitutional Court justices to rule in favor of former President Jacob Zuma. That was in cases to do with the seizure of evidence related to the arms deal. This matter goes back all the way to 2018. Let's talk further about it and bring in research and advocacy officer with Judge Zmata, Zikona Ndlebe. Zikona, a very good evening to you. A very good afternoon, I beg your pardon. I referenced the, the issue of the president possibly deciding on the suspension of the judge president, but correct me if I'm wrong, we would have the Judicial Services Commission having to make that recommendation first. Is that right? That's correct. Um, let's just first go back a bit. The matter goes back to 2008, not 2018. So it's oh, more I beg than your pardon. a decade yes. um, that the JSC has been dealing with the complaint. So the decision of the tribunal has been handed down, has been made. Um, and now it is up to the Judicial Service Commission to either confirm that decision or make other recommendations in terms of the sanction that is applicable. But the tribunal has said that it finds Judge President Chope guilty of gross misconduct in terms of Section 177 of the Constitution. And that section gives, um, well, relates to the impeachment of a judge. So in terms of that section, a judge may be impeached um, if he's found guilty of gross misconduct and the National Assembly will have to call for that judge to be removed by a resolution adopted um, by the National Assembly. And then the president will have that discretion to remove the judge. And while those proceedings are pending, the president has the discretion to uh, suspend the judge who is guilty of the gross misconduct. And uh, Zikona... As we sit here then today, the impeachment issue, which is getting a lot of airtime, would be the worst case scenario, at least for the judge president professionally. What are the other options? What other sanctions could possibly be handed down mm. to him? So if um, the JSC considers the decision of the tribunal and finds that, yes, Judge President Chlope is guilty of um, misco well, misconduct, but it is not gross and therefore impeachment is not necessary. There are various other sanctions in terms of the Judicial Service Commission Act. Um, one of those sanctions, well, a few would be apologizing uh, to the Constitutional Court justices, to the public, a reprimand, a written warning, any form of compensation, as we saw with uh, Judge Motata, the tribunal found him guilty of gross misconduct, but the JSC said that he he's guilty of misconduct and he was uh, sanctioned to paying compensation to Sajay. So that could happen in this case as well. But the worst case scenario would be an impeachment pro process being undertaken. And how unprecedented possibly would the impeachment uh, of a judge president be even? Well, the impeachment of a judge in general would be unprecedented in these times. We've never seen it happen. Um, if you can recall, there was a process that was started, but that was years back, and the judge, uh, the process was never followed through. So there's, there's no precedent that has been set in terms of the impeachment proceedings. This will be the first of its kind if it does get to that. And I do recall uh, Judge Trope saying that, look, throughout all these trials and tribulations and allegations that he's faced since, as you were saying, 2008, the division that he oversees in the Western Cape, he says, has done very well. Uh, cases, the dispensation of justice has not been interfered with, has not been hampered. But I wonder then, now that he is dealing with this finding from a tribunal, does that make his position untenable at this stage, even without a final ruling on the sanction? Well, we'll have to wait for the final ruling. There's been a lot happening in the Western Cape High Court. There have been various complaints against Judge President Chlope. So this is not the first complaint. And um, he still sits in the, as the Judge President of the Western Cape High Court. So if you look, for example, there's been a complaint by the Deputy Judge President Goliath against Judge President Chlope. And that complaint is being dealt with by the JSC. And that's in addition to this complaint that has been uh, dealt with by the tribunal. So. Um, um, whether he's going to continue sitting, well, he will continue sitting until uh, the impeachment proceedings or the suspension is undertaken by the president. Um, so we cannot tell what is going to happen in the meantime. It is all dependent on the president, whether 
and, and the JSC whether uh, he will be found, the, 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 the decision by the tribunal will be confirmed, and whether um, the judge president will be found guilty of gross misconduct, and whether impeachment proceedings will be commenced by the JSC and the president, parliament, and whether the president will... Um, want to suspend him while those proceedings are, are taking place. And I want to put to you a, a question that I asked Advocate Paul Hoffman last night, and that's about what's at the heart of this misconduct finding against the judge president, that he crossed the line in trying to sway the position of the justices Jafta and Ngabinde in that matter to do with Jacob Zuma, the arms deal in Tales, right? Where is the line between what the judge president was arguing that these were just general conversations about principle versus what we can then say was not an innocent conversation and was indeed an attempt to influence an outcome for good or bad? Mm. Okay, so the, 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 the decision of the tribunal sets this out very well. So it is said in that decision that when a judge or judges are sitting in a case, and uh, hearing a matter, they are not allowed to discuss that case. They can seek advice from their colleagues in the same court, but it has never happened that a judge from a different division or from a judge from a high court has wanted to discuss a case that has been dealt with by the constitutional court. So um, there's a very thin line that, that Judge President Shaw mm -hmm. crossed. So um, judgments and decisions or cases that are being dealt with by judges uh, cannot be All discussed right. by, by, by judges that are not sitting in, in that case. Zikona Ndlebe with Judges Matters, always good to speak to you. Thank you so much.